Daniel Konitz. I'm the editor-in-chief of Modern Painters Magazine, and I'm looking for the best things at the Freeze Art Fair. I'm standing with Eric Fischel in front of uh, one of his uh, recent paintings. It's an art fair painting, I gather. It is an art fair painting, yeah, sort of derived from uh, uh, photographs I took down in Miami at the Miami Basel a couple of years ago. Is it a composite of photographs? Or? It is. It's a total sort of made up kind of narrative uh, moment. I think I finally accepted that this actually is my world. And so what does my world really look like? And I began to, you know, describe it to myself and show it to others who are part of that world. I find it a, uh, an incredibly complicated uh, experience. You know, you have, um, you have a whole lot of individual artists who are screaming for attention. They all have a, a sensibility, they all have a, a need, a, you know, whatever, to communicate something. And then you have a crowd that is moving at a very quick speed and, and actually can't absorb that. Has anybody recognized themselves in one of the paintings? And... Uh, not yet, although there are, there are real people, so uh, somebody might say, hey, that's me. Jane, tell me about these extraordinary sculptures by the Chinese artist Lu Wei. Lu Wei is a Beijing-based artist. He's somebody that's getting increasing attention throughout the, the world, really. These works are um, part of his library series, where he's essentially taking these books that he finds at secondhand markets in China, and he's creating matter out of them. So these materials that were, you know, once informational have been, um, that use has been taken away from them in this process. And he's kind of carving into them and creating these, these city-like sculptures. They look like these sprawling metropolises that are springing up from these books. They're really symbolic of this universal kind of development of cities in this 21st century world that we live in, where there are these kind of massive um, shifts in urban populations, in construction, in this kind of disregard for the past. In, in Beijing, where Liu Wei is from, it's especially prevalent, um, you know, cities that were, that looked one way 20 years ago, look completely different now, or unrecognizable. Are they glued together, the books? The books are glued together, but then there isn't any kind of finish or binding on top of it. So this kind of slight crumbling is something that he really wants, is really intentional and is um, very much a part of his thought process for the concept of the piece. I'm here with Takashi Murata, who is uh, an artist who's made a somewhat psychedelic and mind-blowing installation. Um, tell us a little bit about it. This is a three-dimensional uh, animation, so it's it's taking place in actual three-dimensional space um, using strobes and, and uh, a 3D printing process. So we're this this kind of came from animation work that I've been doing before of landscapes and these kind of um, nighttime. Uh, environments. So then I figured out this way while, while I was working on those to use modeling and those techniques and current this current technology of 3D, 3D printing and in this case also a CNC mill uh, mill from the CAD files to create uh, this this sculpture to be animating in real space. Fantastic. So. It's a booth we decided to make with uh, wood cuts by Damien de Roubaix with a French artist, and he has this very dark world, a mix of Middle Age, North European um, culture, and very German, contemporary, rock and roll culture. This yeah. kind of violence, but also a lot of humor. Most of people don't see the humor, but it's, it's sad because it's really... Well, the heads, I guess, yeah. are kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. I saw that with Mesha Gaba, who is an artist from Benin, and Otto Bong and Kanga, who is from Nigeria, it could have a nice exchange. He did the woodcuts in his uh, studio in France, and then we brought everything, and it was made on the side of the booth. And so is it just one single installation, the, the, the woodcuts no, for him? No, each, uh, each part is a single work. I see. Of course, we would love to keep it together. Yes. And my dream will be to have someone who choose one of the woodcuts with a piece by Otto Bong and a piece by Meshach to keep the... But we will see.
Jackson.